it like that because I have to have the lights on to see the thrust. Oh, okay. We're back! Welcome. New killer questions on horror from the grave, and these come from... CFH Cowboy. Cowboy Cowboys from hell. How do you feel about Friday the thirteenth? I mean Friday the thirtieth convention being postponed. I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of pissed, but I'm kind of relieved because I know uh, I wouldn't want to go to a Friday the thirtieth convention if it was all hacked up because of all the drama, you know, and all half-assed and everything. Mm -hmm. So if it needs time to be perfected, then fuck Arby's. I by all means postpone it. I think that they postponed it to the wrong date, though. So it's going to be in competition with Texas Frightmare. And I'm sorry to yeah. say, man, Texas Frightmare will bury this convention on two And they bats. did it on May because it's, there's a Friday the 13th, right? I think so. But, that, 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 okay, that, that's Should already done. June. That's already done because this was the 30th. Now it's Friday, <coughs> Friday, <coughs> Friday the 31st. <laughs> See, and they, they fucked now up there. Now that sounds like, yeah. They fucked up there. And they really fucked up because Texas Frightmare is an established convention. Mm -hmm. This one's already got postponed once. So people mm -hmm. are going to be turned off from that. And two, yeah. you still haven't got a lot of the major players in Back all. Back on board. Yeah. Well, you haven't, the, without Corey Feldman, no Tommy Jarvis, it ain't, it ain't going to yeah. be as good. I don't know. We're going to have to see. I mean, it is very disappointing and upsetting. The rescheduled date definitely has flaws going up against mm -hmm. Texas Frightmare. Yeah. And uh, some of the people have dropped off, and it's going to be a hassle to get them back on. So yeah. we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So I'm I'm, I'm on the uh, goddammit side yeah, me too. of it being postponed. Because I was ready to go. I have money in a cigar <laughs> box right now ready to go. Then it got postponed. Next question comes to us from Supernatural Podcast OG13. What baby. up, Chilla? If you were in Freddy's World in the remake... What would you do to survive? Or how would you get killed? Well, I wouldn't get killed. I wouldn't either. There's just no way. What I would do is I'd be like, Look! It's Walter Matthau! He'd turn around, be distracted, and uh, I'd call my friend Jason Voorhees to come in there and take care of this little pudwhacker. Now, Robert England is a hard Freddy to fight. Yeah, yeah that's a different... But a Jackie Earl Haley Freddy is almost just a random victim at Camp Crystal Lake. So I just call my friend Jason and say, "Hey, handle this fool." And then while that happened, I'd be standing there laughing, because he just took off and ran because this fucking idiot just fell for the dumbest trick in the fucking book. Yep. And then when he turned back to look at me and he fucking flexes his little fucking gay little Lee press on nail glove back at me, I'd say, "Look, it's Tanner from fucking Bad News Bears, <laughs> painted like a baseball fury from the Warriors with a fucking baseball bat with nails hanging out of it," and he wouldn't look. And next thing you know, he get smashed upside the head with that bat, and then I just walk away calm. And that's it. That's Credits. how it would go down. Credits. <laughs> yeah, because so. platinum douche Freddy yeah. Krueger ain't no good. Now, if it was Robert England, Freddy, if it was... We'd uh, have to be some crafty motherfuckers. We would have to be some, yes. We crafty. Would, crafty. We, I'd have to get the Marines to fall asleep at the same time, just so I can call them in. <laughs> you know any SEALs that are sleeping right now? Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Know? So that's that's a that's a whole another monster there. So yeah. And also from Supernatch, if horror icons fight, uh, who would be the best for a fight, and how would they win? You know what fight I'd like to see? I'd like to see Hellraiser versus Freddy. The whole clan, Cenobites and all. No. Just Pinhead. Just Pinhead up against Freddy. Robert England, Freddy. Robert let's, England, let's, Freddy, let's of course. This. I don't even have to clear that. They know. No, no, we have to, because then someone will message back. Dude, which one were you talking about? No, we ain't going. Okay, there. yeah. Robert England's Freddy versus Doug Bradley's Doug pinhead. Bradley's pinhead, and uh, that's a fight I'd like to see. Yeah, me too. Me too. Who would win? That'd be interesting. I'm gonna put my money on pinhead. I don't know, man. I know. Is it? I'm, that's Steve. That's how good of a fight it would be. That's like, you know, that's epic Super Bowl type shit right there. Okay, if we're in the nether world, it would really be tough. You brought them out in real life, it would really be tough. Because they yeah. both ain't shit in the real world. Right. And they're both too super strong in the nether world, yeah. so it would be harder than a motherfucker. It would. So, and that's why it'd be a good fight. Yeah. <laughs> so, what else we got there? All right, what time have we got up there? We got plenty of time. We got plenty. Okay. Plenty. Killer 666. Yeah, we're censoring out the other part because, uh... It's really? a little weird. Really? In this day and age, really? Number love for you. Number love for you. But really? So anyway. 
Okay. Good was, questions, by the yeah, way. Yeah, lots too. of good questions. You even got 30 more we're going to get to. Yeah. We may have to do part and part, so don't think we're just dissing you out here. We're, no. we're just going we're gonna, to we're gonna, spread them out. Yeah. Plus, because what you guys don't realize is sometimes when we're ready to do killer questions, there's like hardly any because mm -hmm. we did them all too quick. You know what I mean? And some yeah. people forget to send them, so we're like, okay, there's not really anything yeah. to do. So you we're going to do... is our backup. <laughs> yep, you'll be on, an, on another episode and for another, next week. And another. Uh, when did we first start loving horror films? Mine was Halloween 1983. Mine was... Halloween. I first saw it with my mama. Fuck. I was like three years old. And my aunt had her boyfriend come over. I've told this story before. Yeah. And she went in the back room to do whatever she wanted to do. Pretty she, much what, uh... What Bob and fucking Linda were... Right. Going or Judith to go do. and, uh... Or Judith and fucking Nameless Two Pump guy. Fuck Boy. Two were Pump Chump, yeah. And she put the movie... She put on Halloween and said, If you come in this back room, the guy's gonna come off that TV screen. He's gonna kill you. And I was all fucking freaked the fuck out. Oh, Nothing man. will hook you more than being terror to watch terror. Yeah. I had to sleep under my bed after watching that movie. I slept <laughs> under my bed for like three years after that shit. For that real. Hurt. Not even fucking lying. Uh, what attracts you to horror? Is it the blood, the tits, the story, or all three? All three. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, me? I don't know, man. The blood, of course. The stories, of course. Eh. The tits when I was younger, but eh, I don't really yeah. care about that anymore. When I was younger, I'd be like, oh, shit, people are naked. That means someone's going to die. So I always knew that when I was little. That's that true. Was a little, That's little. true, yeah. So that used to get me super excited then because I knew that someone was going to get fucking yeah, hacked based, out. Yeah. So, yeah, all three. All three. <laughs> we are dudes, after all. That's not... What is the goriest death you've ever seen and not necessarily has to be your favorite death in a horror film? Mm. What's the goriest death you've ever seen in a horror movie at all? Hmm. Oh man, I'm fixing to lay it down. What do you got? Okay, there's this movie. I don't recommend you guys seeing this movie at all because it's really fucking nasty and you watched it with me. Oh God, Mortem? <laughs> oh God, yeah, Mortem. Wow. If you guys want to see a nasty movie, go for it. I don't recommend it. It's fucked up and gross. My old lady won't even let me own the motherfucker. Yeah, no. That's how nasty. <laughs> I was like, you know what, I won't watch it, but I'll have it in the collection in case people say there ain't nothing out there that nasty. You know, some people like to doubt the power of special effects. More of them is gross. They make this one dude cut off his own dick and all kinds of fucking shit. They rape a dead nine-year-old girl in a bathtub, and there's a fucking gross shit in there. Yeah, uh, people having sex and puke. Remember, it was all kinds of fucking all up in that gross one shit. Guts. Yeah, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember. That's Cut a it open and started, movie, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one, too. Yeah, I can't think nasty. of anything that tops that. Because the guinea pigs and shit are bad, but they yeah. ain't bad like that, though. No, that no. mortem was yeah, nasty mortem. shit. Definitely, yeah, that's my answer, too, now that I think about it. It's all um, up in my head now. Jason Goes to Hell versus Freddy's Dead. And uh, Killer666 said these are the worst two of the franchise. Let me make a correction. The remakes of both of those franchises are the worst of the franchises. So, there you go. Which one do you think would win? I go Jason Goes to Hell because... Yeah, Jason Goes to Hell. Because, the man, the man of the hour, hot dog through a donut. Oh yeah, Creighton Duke. That's all about fucking Jason I don't Goes think to so. Hell. Why don't you blow me, Chief? After your girlfriend. Get, that's yeah, yeah. good shit. No, it's real colorful, Sheriff. Sure. Freddy's Dead was cool too, yeah. but it was nowhere near. No, no not no. even not even close. Because one of the best deaths ever is in that uncut. <laughs> Yep. Good stuff. We have time? We got... A minute. Yeah, we got a minute. Uh, yeah, we'll have to go to the next one on this. This yeah. is a long one. This is going to take us some time. Okay, let's. you want to shoot over then? We can shoot over right now. We're going to shoot over right now. We'll be right back.